Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 19 here on Goldcrest Valley 19 yep it's for 19 not 17 19 it's your host with not the most Mr. Blue aka Tommy Miller folks today we're going to collect these bales and um and go over a few mistakes I made in the last episode what Mr. Blue make a mistake yeah, Mr. Blue makes mistakes. I wouldn't be Mr. Blue if I wouldn't if I didn't make mistakes, you know. You know? How y'all doing folks? I hope y'all are doing awesome. Despite the all the stuff that's going on. I just hope y'all are doing awesome, folks. I think I'm gonna get these two, turn around, get that, and then go down and get that. But of course I got some over here. I'm not, I will get this one. Alright. So yeah, today we're gonna be picking up hay bales. We got quite a few we might sell a load and we might put a load in storage which I uh, think I already got put down and and look over here well, I gotta tell y'all that too uh, the guys started bringing in material for the shed that we're gonna put here I just don't know I, I think it's gonna be a little bit bigger than the area it's going to be uh, we gotta do some tree cutting too I'm pretty sure we'll have to do it and not them since we got the easy stuff. Um, most of it's going to be right in this area right here that you're looking at above the tractor. Might take up some of the field. Um, yeah, the front door is going to be uh, pretty much right here in front of the tractor where this lumber and stuff's at. Uh, let's take a look at that while this thing's shuffling these bales around we got bags of cement here we got uh, two by sixes look like and some four by those, four, those look like 12 by 12s by eight or something something wrong there uh, they got the container with stuff in it um, I think the edge of the shed it will go somewhere like right here we're just going to give just enough room. I wish this thing was out of the way. But it, it, it's factory brand new, so we'll use it. Uh, let's call the company, bring lime out. But anyway, the front door will be probably about right in here. And it goes over this way. And the, the side rear door will be facing out towards that way. Kind of give you an idea. Anyway, we got to get busy. But yeah, they got the concrete or cement mix out and lumber and there are power tools and stuff in that thing. So I'm going to have to move the mini. Um, they're going to come out. I think we'll be the ones leveling this dirt. So I have to check on that stuff. But they still bring the supplies out. So lots of stuff. Oh. This thing needs a water pickup. Of course, in real life, it, you have to be right on the money. I think. I've never used one of these. I've never actually really seen them in, in uh, working positions, except for what's on YouTube. Hey, guess what? Y'all watching me on YouTube. <laughs> Alright, well, you might be watching me on Facebook, but it's linked to YouTube, so, yeah. It's one of those things, folks. It's one of those things. I forgot we had chisel plow. And that's one thing I gotta talk to you about. The chisel plow. The uh, subsolar that we bought, the case one. I had to get rid of it, folks. It wouldn't create fields. We'll, we'll go look at that here in a minute. I'm gonna turn my lights on. This thing done, or... 100%. We got 16 bells on there. Let's take a look at what we made real quick. Because I don't say it's going to get me. Um, created bells was 61. I think that's today. 94 total. But we're going to go look at that, that baler and see how much it says to you. So let's put this back in transport position. And 
there goes the train let's see what else we gotta make sure I'm wanting to make a road that goes straight up there and cut over I don't know if I can do that or not it's gonna be kind of rough but uh yeah I'll, I'll see around the corner here actually I, I, I was gonna do a time skip but we'll just uh make sure we don't hit our head here show y'all the bales there and don't forget on down the other end we got bales and we got bales up here huh we got bales everywhere almost hmm. we need to get some contract missions on these well, we need to get a combine too I forgot about a combine but it, it's ways before our crops need it so we might borrow some other folks' combines and use them and turn signal on. Oh yeah, I got that mod. And when you turn that way and it cuts back, it turns off. I like that. Let's turn our flashers back on. There's our bagler. And y'all probably like, what? what is that up there? What is that up there? Well, that's our bell storage, folks. Just hope it works. It's supposed to be hay, but I, I don't know, folks. I don't even know if I can, because, uh, yeah, unload bales. Probably should have got straight. Little bushes in the way. All right, it's lifting up. And it's gonna be way way taller all right we're gonna unload here we're gonna push back some okay okay it's good good it's taking them all right um lower the transport rig and back up a little bit more because of that train's coming All right, I'm just gonna shut my lights off and we're gonna shut the tractor off for right now. Oh. Gas floating back up. Um, zero here. Trying to look, oh, okay. We got 12,000 liters. Woohoo! Is that right, 16 bells times four? Anybody got a calculator? I don't think I got one on my phone. If I can figure out how to open it. And of course, a bunch of announcements comes in. Where's my calculator? Well, anyway. That's showing 52,000 there. Um, I don't quite understand this. It says output inputs a bell round. No, this is the square bell. Huh. 40 million liters an hour. Over there it's 400,000. Whoa, that just disappeared. I don't know why it's saying round. It's supposed to be the, stri the square. Well, anyway, we had 4,000 liters. Okay, 4,000 times 16 equals, oh, oh, not plus, equals 64,000. So we should have 64,000 liters over here. Okay, that's right. Um, go in here. I gotta make sure this thing works before we put any more in it. Auto is on. Output. Oh, here we go. Here, click on this. Um, I wanna spawn one pallet. Okay, here we go. Four thousand liters. It's a little bit different color. 
that back in. And, okay, so this takes time to add. It's working. That's all I wanted to know. Let's jump over here real quick to the baler for 49.60. I love this thing. Um, it's showing 61 bales. Is that what that's showing? Yes, yeah, 61 bales. Great. Okay, so that's right. 55 missions completed. Trees cut down 534. Oof. It's a lot, folks. Okay. We're we just going to leave this tractor here. Jump back over here. I want to show y'all the road. Let's start up first. As you can see, we did put this down. We put some gravel down. Uh, our straw and hay is going to go here. Uh, probably put a solage one on down a little bit. We're going to talk to the railroad company. We're going to have another little crossing right down here. And when we buy this ground over on this right side here, We'll come in here and take these stakes up. But the gravel ended right here because I want to go this way and make a crossing right here. And then also want, but uh, that's going to be our cow shed area. We got to get rid of all those hills and stuff, folks. But I also want a road to come in. I guess instead of coming in straight down, I want it to kind of angle over here. And you see it's kind of kind of smooth in a way over this way. And I want to come down just like this here. I don't know why I'm coming way down this way for. I guess I'll go all the way down and get the bells. But anyway, I want the road to do like that. Put my flashers on. That way we can go up from this side. Mm, I think I got all the bells on this side, didn't I? I hope I did. But yeah. Uh, see you when I get on up here, folks. Alright, folks. I got adding this up. This should be 128,000 liters of hay. Yeah, I, I just that by the our farm shop and that by um, the other main highway down there, the south of her. I'll show you uh, between uh, 19 and 24, orange little dot or yellow little dot right there is this is just off of that. I forgot to look for the train. All right, unload bales. Yeah, this should have been put back a little bit further, but I we'll just have to watch for the train. That's all. Oh, this might push me a little bit here. Yep. Oh, 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 oh! It's pushing. It's pushing. Unload bales here. All but one. Oh, it won't let me back up either. That will. Don't know why that ain't going in. But anyway, yeah, that's sir. Uh, little bell thing storage. We're not in our field area here, but it should be all right. We're just going to park the tractor here for a little bit. Yeah, I got a few more things to show y'all. There's um, 20,000. Why well, ain't this one going in? Be full. Are we full? 120,000. Let's just get, let's get out of here and 
Um, this is input. This is the output. Well, we're nowhere near 400,000, so I want that on auto. Why are you not taking this bell? There we go. Oh, 124, so one more be 128. The light's still going. Oh, we're showing zero there, so we should be. Give me a second now, hopefully. Unless it cheated us a bell. But we'll come back to this. Um, this tractor here. Um, I ain't forgot about it. We got those two. We got to get back to the shop. Uh, this is what I want to show y'all here. What I've been doing. And let's see. Yep, limit the fields. Um, this here is the lizard. I think it's a five meter. Y'all seen it before on the other players. I noticed, look at the difference at the ground. I was like, why is it smooth? Because it's supposed to be like this. And I'm like, uh, went to create fields and it wouldn't, it wouldn't let me folks. So I had to go exchange it to this, and we are down to 16,765. But, but we're, we're good, kind of. We need one big piece of forestry equipment that I wasn't thinking about. Ah. We're going to probably a through and a, and a half of, a, of the width of this. Um, probably about where the branches come out so if I line up here it'd be just from the green dot to the orange dot over that way almost to the track almost not quite to the tree you don't understand that confusing myself there for a little bit but yeah I got a Fortunately, I have to do this part myself because hired workers won't create the fields for you the way you want. They'll probably go across the road and everything else. And uh, I need to do that too, but I think it's going to be alright like it is. Probably won't go no further out. Alright, let's. Uh, that's how this thing folds up too. I kind of like it. It's not that much horsepower to run it either. But that's how much closer I got to the uh, railroad track. We're going to cut these few trees on this side down. I think we own the ones on the other side, too. So, yeah, I'm going to be uh, tree cutting full again here pretty soon. So, uh, let me finish this. Um, well, I don't have that much to really show y'all. Let me go ahead and come up to here, right here. On this here, we're going to put in a gravel road. Just on this side of this shed here that goes around to the track. We're probably going to have to come in here and see it's got a few hills right here. We're going to level these out. And we're going to keep bringing that gravel road next to the train track all the way around. And probably level some of this out. Don't really know as far as we go. Might cut the road through here. There's no telling right now. So, but yeah, that's, that's what we got going on here. Um, the oh, that's rough down through here. Throw me out of seat. But anyway, we got a. Um, Park the tractor right here, facing that way, so I know what I'm doing. Uh, let's see, let's tab on through. Here's the baler. We gotta get it out of the way. Cow shed, 
cow farm or something going here we got to level up and there's the other 4640 and that uh, this guy is going to be doing some fertilizing on that sugar beet field and this is the other trailer I got to show y'all this trailer will not handle any of the FDR loggings equipment so we gotta get another one but this one here was gave to us zero cost he said you need something that's with road signs on it and stuff he, he was getting a new one so he just gave us to us folks I, I, I love it but yeah it, it, it probably carry the mini but it won't carry that guy he's just too heavy so We'll probably end up getting a new semi and trailer and another piece of forestry item just so we can do our contract that's on uh well let me go in this mode i'll go show y'all it's way up here on field five this should be field five and up here this shack right here this is going to be a main headquarters for another sawmill so we have to cut out these trees here probably these here too and a few extra ones on the side and the side over here and they're going to come in flat in the ground and they are going to put up a FDR logging sawmill that's because we love FDR logging mods. Uh, if I up oh, right here, we're gonna go all the way over to the end, and it's gonna be this sawmill here. Yep. Yeah, I know. Yeah, fifty dollars. Yeah, that's that's cheap, but we'll probably be getting this truck here. Yeah, this in here well, is one I like. We'll probably be getting it. And uh, it will pull the trailer that we're going to be pulling. And it will also help us pull the log trailers. So, yeah. I love it. Wish I had a money getting that. But we're going to. That will not be coming anytime soon. Um, well, it, it, it is becoming soon, but. Was, oh yeah, this is the last stretcher we bought. This guy here will probably be changing out the front weight for a hydraulic front end. So we put a three-point hitch bumper on the front of this. So we can get these uh, bells picked up better. So yeah, we got to take this back. Uh, take it to the farm shop and drop it off. Bells off and take this back we're paying leasing costs on it and uh yeah oh 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 i forgot about these bells i gotta go around and make sure i got all the bells but folks i i know it ain't been very much but i want to keep this one shorter than the other episode i'm already 24 25 minutes in so but that's what we got going on i want to finish doing some clown and uh, getting those bells in uh, these in the, the straw I mean the hay ones over by the cow area so yeah I'm going to do that off screen and uh, once again I appreciate all y'all for your comments your love your, yeah, I just appreciate all of it folks y'all hitting that like button really really helps me out by showing that you like my videos and stuff and it makes me want to make more and yeah I can't thank y'all enough so thank you thank you thank you y'all have a great day a blessed day I will see y'all later folks later